Troubleshooting Guide, Immersion Heater Issues. Welcome. This troubleshooting video is to help professional installers identify and diagnose problems with immersion heaters in unvented cylinders with an external expansion vessel, such as the Kingspan Tribune HE and the Kingspan Ultra Steel. There are two possible issues you could be called out for regarding immersion heaters. One, the cylinder is not heating up and reaching temperature, or two, water is leaking from the immersion heater. We will deal with each of these in turn. Part 1. Cylinder not heating up. There are four possible causes that can prevent the water in the cylinder from heating up. These are incorrect setup of a programmable thermostatic control, the high temperature cutout has popped, an electrical failure, or the immersion heater has failed. To meet building regulations on energy efficiency, modern controls are a lot more complex than the traditional on-off controls everyone is used to. So the first thing to check is that any controls are set up and working correctly to meet the hot water demand. This may even be something you can advise the homeowner on over the phone, or by sending them links to YouTube videos by the manufacturer, saving you an unnecessary call out. The next most common problem to eliminate is to check if the high temperature cutout has popped. To check the thermostat on the immersion heater, isolate it from the power supply and remove the cover. Locate the reset switch on the thermostat and press it down. It should click into place and be noticeably recessed. You will need to identify the underlying cause of the cylinder overheating and fix the issue. Common reasons on a direct cylinder are incorrect wiring or the thermostat may be faulty. On an indirect cylinder, you will need to check the two port valve as it may be jammed open or the actuator failed, causing the cylinder to overheat or the control thermostat to the boiler may have failed. If it's not the cylinder overheating and the high temperature cutout is okay, you will need to move on and confirm that the power supply to the immersion heater is working. You can do this using a multimeter. If there is a problem with the power supply, you need to locate the fault and safely fix it. If the power supply is okay, you will need to move on to check the immersion heater. You can diagnose the immersion heater has failed by measuring the resistance between the two posts on the immersion with a multimeter. The reading should be between 18 and 21 ohms, or the immersion has failed and will need replacing. We'll now move on to part two. What to do if the immersion heater is leaking? There are two possible types of immersion heater leak, so you'll first need to work out which one you are dealing with. A hole or leak path in the immersion heater itself or a faulty o-ring seal. Isolate the immersion heater and remove the cap to allow you to fully inspect the heater in situ to try and identify where the leak is coming from. A key point is to check for obvious leaks at braze joints, the thermostat pocket and the brass body itself. Should you find a hole or leak path, the heater will need replacing. The second cause of an immersion heater leak is a faulty o-ring seal. In this instance, simply replace the o-ring. This should solve the issue. If the immersion heater is more than two years old, you may wish to change it at the same time. This isn't strictly required, but it's something we recommend, as it's usually more cost effective in the long run. By following these checks and fixing any errors, you should have successfully solved your immersion heater problem. For more information, contact Kingspan by emailing hotwater at kingspan.com or calling 0345 260 0258. Thanks for watching.